the people before me had a smoke down. They was in there blowing them new parts, blowing them cigs. The room reeked. Hey, go get a fucking cigarette! And he just said, I'll text you later. And the next thing I knew, the door was slamming. I said, oh, no. I started picking up my stuff with attitude like, well, that's what you get. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> and then I checked my phone to go text him, and I'm blocked. So if you new here, how you doing? I have manners. I speak when I walk into a room. I speak. Y'all need to speak when y'all walk into a room. Don't be rude. Are you kidding me? I swear to God. Don't be what are you So if you new here and this is your first time watching, girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, is, this is about to be a time. It is. It's about to be a time. So at first, I wasn't gonna tell y'all this story. And I was like, you know what? Let me just hide in the dark. <laughs> I was gonna hide in the dark. I was gonna keep it to myself. And then I was like, you know what? I don't care who judges me. Let me just, I, I'm coming to the light. I'm coming to the light, Carol Ann. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And you know what? Honestly, at this point, I don't care. I don't care. I've told y'all a lot of things that are embarrassing. Um, <laughs> when it comes to, you know, the trade. <laughs> I mean, I told y'all about the time when two pulled up at once. Nerd is here. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gagging, and I'm gagging bad. <laughs> I even told y'all about the time. Oh, well, no, I didn't tell y'all about when one of them had called me box here and I thought he didn't know who I was because y'all know I don't like dealing with people that know. We're not talking about that right now. That don't matter. Y'all have even seen me jump up and down like a bunny rabbit in my bathroom trying to get ready. Let's see. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. See what happens? You start making chitlins. <laughs> so I mean, the point is, y'all have seen a lot. At this point, who cares? Like, this is an open book. It's just like, you know what? I don't even care. I don't care. I'm just gonna turn the comments off so y'all can't say. <laughs> To the bottom, even if it's irrelevant, because it was like thing after thing after thing after thing. And I don't know if it's y'all who feel like this, but when I'm out of town and I'm not in my own space, in my own bed with my pets, like I it's like different when bad stuff happens. Like, for example, if I was to get into a fight at home, it's like, oh my god, I'm at home, I can just go home and like decompress and reset. Like if I'm out of town, it's like I'm out of town, I don't know nobody, like I don't live here, I can't go to my own bed. I'm like, it's like if I don't go to work here then I just run out of money, like, you know what I mean? Like you just don't feel stable in a place where you on vacation versus at home, if that makes sense. So like when bad stuff happens, out of town is different. So it's like a different level. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. So anyways, we are gonna get to the story. <laughs> this channel y'all i'm sure y'all have seen josiah and jordan a few times so i was like i want to go see them josiah uh, jordan can you, she pulling hair she oh my hair. god can you let go of my hair oh my god let go of my hair ah. what the f is wrong with you <laughs> now my hair is messed up now i can't go to work tomorrow without washing my fucking hair because now you all pulled it all out so i tip out to charlotte I I think I've been once or twice before, but this time something different. I don't know what was in the water. Literally. <laughs> We're gonna get to that soon. Is my mic on? Oh, it is. Okay. Before we go to a trip, we gotta get into a car, right? So I call my black truck. <laughs> okay, y'all you know I'm luxurious. You know I'm a black truck girl. You know when I step out to the club, I love a black truck. Okay, it was a Tesla. Still cute, still cute. Y'all, <laughs> my bags are packed again. No, come on! <laughs> Girl, we about to leave. <laughs> so, I don't know if some of you are confused. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. But it is three in the morning and we're heading to the airport. Get your shoes on, because it's about to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, my phone fell. Oh my God. So I'm on the way to the airport. It's a Tesla. 
Now, I'm feeling fancy already. This trip is off to a great start. I'm feeling fancy. Um, one thing about me, I love getting in the Tesla. And don't mind my blanket all balled up like that. Mind your business. <laughs> Just mind your business. Yes, my pillows is in the corner. Yes, my blanket is all balled up. Mind your business. Now, this trip is gonna be really hard for me. Cause a lot of y'all know, like, I'm on my health journey. <laughs> I'm trying to be a healthier person. You know, eat better. Do better, consume better things in my body. So I called a car and everything's fine at this point. I don't really like coming out in the daytime and doing flights and traveling during the daytime when it's just sunny out for it in the afternoon. Cause people be looking at you with this big coat on and you gotta wear these, like you just gotta wear bigger clothes cause you can't fit in your suitcase. And you, I just don't want people looking at me weird when I get to the state and it just be hot. And it just, I just rather travel overnight. Miss you, oh. I miss you. I get to the airport and I'm gagging. Already, I'm just, I'm gagging, so stop gagging. I'm gagging right now, I'm just gagging. The line was through the door. No! 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 I don't work at an airport, but I know all y'all don't gotta go somewhere. You lying. The line was wrapped around and then around and then around. It was wrapped around like four times. Like, this line don't need to be that long. And then the lady at the, uh, the security lady told us on, uh, and y'all need to walk in a line if three people walk at once and walk past the dog. And, do 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 like, girl, it's four in the morning, five in the morning. Like, girl, you need to relax. Like, what is all the attitude? What is all the, girl, if you didn't want to work, you could have stayed home. Because clearly you ain't feel like working. So, girl, you could have just stayed home. You could have stayed home, girl. You get, like, we didn't need all that. You could have stayed home, sister. I get through the gate and I'm like, I'm feeling a little part. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna go give me something to eat. Y'all know one thing about uh, me, girl, I love my food. <sighs> so I had to dunk in because it's early, you know, that's really the only thing open in the airport. And I get me, well, it don't really, I don't think I got a solid. I think I got a solid. Girl, we in the airport and it's a dilemma. So I had, <laughs> I got some Dunkin'. What is going on that noise? I went through security, the line was extremely long, first of all. So, I don't know what was going on there. Secondly, I did go ahead and get me a little Dunkin'. It's a solid, so. Oh. Mm. Come on. Mm, crunch to it. But we do got a dilemma. Hold on. Girl, I'm busy. There's some busy work going on right now. Girl, they don't forgot my damn water. Now, I don't want to be the pest. I go over there and be like, oh my God, y'all forgot my water. Y'all forgot my water. But I'm about to go over there. But I really don't want to go over there because I I, I don't know. I don't want to give her a hard time. You know, there's a lot going on in the airport today. I'm going to just go ahead and drink my spit. <laughs> I'm going to drink my spit. <laughs> no, I'm not going back for no water. But it's like, it's really bothering me because I paid $4.99. First of all, first of all, $5 for water is crazy. I get on a flight and the man, oh. He reeked of pee. Um, and I've never had to sit next to anybody who reeked of pee before. And I just feel like, where is your decency and respect? Like, you know you're getting on a flight. Clearly you have money. I mean, you paid for the flight. So you couldn't have spent $5 on some, uh, a Dove bar. Girl, some Irish Spring at least. Like, something to pull it together. Why do you smell like pee on a flight? Like, where are your manners in this enclosed space? The person next to me actually didn't come. So I had a window seat and we had a middle space. I got to breathe. So I get there. Everything's fine, right? Now, automatically, girl, my apps is going off. Girl, <laughs> when the queen stuck in the city, the apps is going off. And if you know what apps I'm talking about, then you know what apps I'm talking about, girl. Did Girl, I'm like this too much. I'm overstimulated. The trades is out, girl. But you know me. I'm a, I'm gonna lie about linking up. I'm a lying about linking up type of girl. Yes, I am. Because in the car to the Airbnb, it was just like a lot of little stuff. The man in the driver's seat. I mean, there was something off about him. So I put myself in his car and I got a heavy hand. So when I closed the trunk, he gave me a little bit too much. Um. Yeah, he was definitely giving me a little bit. He said, well, hold on, don't slam out I said, all right, well, hold on. I didn't, you know, it's just a little heavy and calm down. But shortly after that, he started to dance in his driver's seat. Um, 
And I should have known then. Well, actually, I should have known that the Dunkin' Donuts. But this is really when I should have known. The little shimmy that he was doing to his jazz music in the front seat. I mean, I should have known something was a little shaky. I should have known things were going to get rocky, right? So I'm driving in the car, and I get there. I had a little, I had a bite to eat. <laughs> this time I really had a solid. This time I really had a solid. I had Zach's piece, and I really did get a solid this time, y'all. And I got proof, I think. <laughs> Let me see if I got some proof. Now, see, you got proof in that editing room, sister. Yup, I got it. I got it. I got the proof. Y'all. Yeah. Welcome to the Airbnb. Uh, we're in the kitchen right now, the kitchen area, this is the dining, the kitchen area, you know, the area, area. So I just got into the Airbnb, mind y'all, y'all know one thing about me, I got to eat! So I got me some Zaxby's, I'm not from the South, I'm from Philly, so we don't got Zaxby's, so you know, girl, all I be eating when I come down, like, down the South is American Deli Zaxby's, oh yeah. So y'all wanna see what I got from Zaxby's? I know y'all do. But I got a solid... And, um, I, <laughs> it's a fridge pie. Mmm. Mmm. Everything's fine, but then this one particular person texts me on one of my apps, right? And this is when I knew, okay, I may have to actually, um, stop lying about linking up and break this trade down. You know what I mean? So, he was texting me all spicy, like, oh my god, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And I'm like, okay. You know, talking crazy. Um, now mind you, I had known this person prior. I just didn't know he lived there. If I would have known that, I honestly probably would have texted him before, but I didn't know he actually found me. I was there. You know, I didn't know he was there. Um, so for months we had been like communicating and I was lying about linking up, you know, because I never thought I would be in the same area as him. Come to find out, he said, okay, well, we can definitely link tonight, right? Now I knew that I had just had a feast. You know, I started my day with Duncan, and then I had a little midday snack, which was Zaxby's. So, you know, I really wasn't, I was lying about linking up. <laughs> I was definitely still lying. So, he texted me later that night, as I expected, because he said he would, and I ignore it. <laughs> so, then the night goes on, you know, me and Josiah and Jordan are having a time together. So, start over. So, start over. Start over. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Get up out that bed. Psycho. Get up out this bed. Y'all need to see what's up. What's up? 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 Um, plans are getting canceled and people are, you know, Josiah and Jordan, they're not leaving the Airbnb. So now here's when things get tricky. Because I'm not the type of girl to put people in uncomfortable situations, right? So I pulled Josiah to the side. I'm like, sister, <laughs> we got a, we got a dilemma, sister. And he like, sister, what's going on, sister? <laughs> he getting ready for a, a ball. So he's getting ready to pull himself into, you know, his gown. <laughs> But Jordan, he playing the game like he chilling because he didn't want to go to the ball with Josiah. He didn't want to see that game. He did not want to see boys slam their backs on the ground. Understood. He he want to stay here. You want to go. It's just too much going on. Like I can't bring the trade here. I can't. I just gotta break this piece of trade down. Do you think I should go ahead <laughs> and buy a hotel and do my thing and then come back? What you think I should do? What you think? I, now I'm feeling like I'm on Peabody. Oh no, well I'm not kidding about the hotel, but I am kidding about the $60 if the feds is watching. It was no money involved. So then Josiah like, well I think you should do it. Cause Josiah, one thing about Josiah, one thing about my best friend, he's gonna send me into war and then let me come back just so he can hear the story. I know my sister. That's the only reason she will allow me to do these things is because she wants a story out of it. She wants the key. So I'm like, all right, sister. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get in your car. You're going to drive me to the hotel. I already booked it. You're going to drop me off. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to meet you at the ball. Right? So we in the car. And Josiah turns down the music because, you know, we are, hey. 
you know we on the way. So he turns and you know, cranks the radio down and just how he looks to his left, he says, you know what? I can't believe I'm driving you to go be a I get to the hotel, I'm like, bye sister, he like, be safe. I'm like, well actually I can't tell y'all that. <laughs> and I'm looking through the window and I'm like, no, I'm going to let him make a baby. <laughs> y'all get what I'm trying to say. Y'all know I got to change my words up as well. I was joking, y'all, I was just joking. <laughs> so I get to the hotel. Child, I don't know what's going on. It was smelling like pee. <gasps> it smelled like a cat was just lifting his leg. Going to town. Basically, it was a door, and you had to talk through the glass, and basically, they gave you entry through that, and then you go through to the hotel. So, basically, you needed a long story short, you needed a key to get into the actual hotel, and at first, you would just talk through a window. So, I get a man my ID. He's taking my ID, plugging it into my reservation. At this point, a lady walks in, right? It's this random black lady. So, she has a little ponytail. She's dressed down. She has a bag in her hand. I automatically, you know, my sensor's going off because it's food. So, I'm just trying to figure out what's in the bag. Like, what you got in that bag? Like, what what is that? What's that type? What's that food you got? Like, I want to know what that is. While the man is, you know, doing my reservation, she's at the window like, uh, what's going on? I got a DoorDash order. I'm just trying to drop it off. And then this lady is just screaming through the window with this man like, just let me up. Just let me up. Just let me up. He will not let this lady up. This lady was at this window just screaming her lungs out like, let me up. Let me up. I want I don't care. This lady, she told me. Because she was on the phone with the lady. <laughs> So she's like, you need to let me up. This lady got a child in here by herself. And you can let me to do your hand. Let me in. And then another 10 minutes pass, he give me my key, right? So I go up to my room. I put the key in, doop, doop, open the door. <laughs> when you go into a hotel room, what's the first thing y'all doing? What's the first thing y'all doing? Y'all reaching for the what? The lights. Y'all turning on the lights. Y'all want to see what's going on in this bitch. What's going on? I look for the lights. It's no lights. They using lamps in this mother. Y'all using lamps in this? What is going on? Lamps? Oh no. Oh no. I got to go. This ain't right. This ain't right. This ain't right. This ain't right. Something is in the water. It's getting spooky. It's getting spooky. And this is why I don't even do hotels. I'm an Airbnb person. I like, you know, the houses and stuff. It smelled like. I don't know what was going on. The people before me had a smoke down. They in there blowing them new parts back to back. I mean, just blowing them six. The room reeked. The blinds, the curtains, the bed. The bed literally had a like a hole in it because it looked like somebody took like a sink and put it out on the bed. The mini fridge was leaking. Oh my god! I walk in the bathroom. I'm like, what's going on in here? Because this is where I'm about to be. Y'all know I had to um, jump up and down like a bunny rabbit and you know get ready. The curtain smelled like mildew. It smelled terrible, like, I'm literally gagging thinking about it. Oh my God. I was trying to get some music going, you know, to get in the mood. Oh my God, I looked at the TV. It wasn't a Roku, like where you could do YouTube, Netflix, Hulu. Oh, what is going on? It had just regular channels. Oh my God. I looked under the bed, it was trash all under the bed. The counters and like the uh, dressers was dusty. Oh my God. I couldn't believe my eyes. The windows wouldn't even open so I could get like a breeze of fresh air because I was going to try to open the windows and like, you know, air this, air this out. I couldn't even open the windows. Why are the windows still shut? No, y'all need to air this out. Y'all need to air this out. I tried to lock the door. The door wouldn't even lock. I would turn the lock, open it up. The door would just open. Oh my God, while I'm in here bouncing like a bunny rabbit, somebody could come in here and just get me. Like, it was, I'm not home. I don't live here, I don't know these people. This is bad. So I Instacart some stuff, you know, real quick. That was fine, it came real fast. But I go down, or, you know, it was like some soap and all, like random stuff. So I go get it, and I'm trying to get back in, because remember I told y'all, you need a key to get in. So I try to put my key in, it's not working. I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? I'm literally trying for like five minutes. It's just like black older. He gotta be like 50, 60. He see me. Look, I'm gonna just break it down like this. I think he was mad because I was. So, girl, you giving me a lot, but baby, you behind the desk. You need to have some type of decorum, some type of coof. And we gonna get into his little attitude too. 
So anyway, I'm doing my key, do, 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 and then he come around, he like, you need to put it in like this. He told me to like angle the key. I'm like, baby, it's not what, like, I done tried every angle. I done did to the side, to the front, to the back, to the front. Like, what else you want me to do? I'm giving you all I can give you. I don't know what, you need to just come from behind that desk that you sitting there, because you typing, you doing a whole lot of typing behind the desk, ain't nobody here. Who here? This two level hotel, like, ain't nobody checking in, baby. You ain't typing nothing. Come from behind the desk and come help me with the key. Like, what are you giving all that for? He was just giving a lot. Like, you just giving all that. What is your problem? Instead of just letting me in, he gave me a two minute tutorial on how to put the key in the door. Like, you giving a lot. He gonna take it out my hand like, you need to do like this. I was trying to tell you, like, okay. Like, you give it. You need to calm down. While I was in the room waiting on the piece of trade. Cause trade do this thing where they run their mouth and they take forever to come. Like, girl, I don't got time for this. I will go eat and go to bed. <laughs> Stop playing. Like, I would go eat and go to sleep. So I go downstairs a few times. I'm sitting in the uh, waiting area. I'm just stepping outside for some fresh air because it smells like cigs up there. I had bought some Febreze and sprayed the room, but like, baby, you can't cover up stink with Febreze. As I'm like stepping outside, I'm just sitting on stairs. Like, I'm just doing little things to just try to pass the time by so I can go back to the Airbnb and see my best friend. Like, and so as I'm coming downstairs a few times, the Bob Eggman, Dr. Eggman, yeah, he was just giving it like, I'm sitting near the exit because I'm at the stairs. He like, you can't leave out there. So basically he watching me on the cameras. He told me like five times, you can't leave out the door. That's your security door. Okay, I paid for my spot here. Like, I'm not, nobody's leaving. I'm just sitting in the area. Like, mind your business. Like, I'm stepping outside. He giving me a dirty eye. And then it's like random girls coming in. He coming in, he giving them a whole bunch of smiles. I'm walking past, he giving me a whole bunch of bad energy. Like, girl, what is you giving all that for? So, he's like, I'm here. I tell him, you know, it is two doors. So, you're going to need a key to get in. So, I need to come get you. Automatically, I got red flags. Well, I already had red flags. Because he was giving me one word answers. But before I was in his city, he was giving me a little bit more, right? Okay, it's definitely giving like DL. Like, you don't want to talk too much, right? Oh, why can't I just come up? Like, why you got to come down to get me? So, then I, it clicked in my mind. He don't want to be seen with me like so I already was thrown off like I don't like dealing with trade who be scary like girl I don't have time for that like I'm secure with myself if you're not secure with yourself go somewhere else like I don't need this so anyways I'm on my way down and he's texting me and he's apparently I guess talking to the Mr. Eggman and he's like well Mr. Eggman said all you gotta do is call down and he'll let me up and I'm going back to my room to make a call because I'm not trying to make this boy uncomfortable like I'm just gonna make it easier on you I'm gonna call and let you up tell you the room number and you come up I try to go back in my room my key's not working now I done exited and entered two three times right everything was fine the man was giving me a lot the only man working the desk right suddenly my key not working girl clearly it's nasty work it's voodoo work by him. Dr. Edmund think I'm Sonic and he trying to battle me, I guess. Girl, I'm just going to say it. You mad because I'm and you locked me out of my room. It's giving that. Because why my key was just working. I've been here literally two hours. No, I have multiple keys. None of them working. Girl, you did it. So now my anxiety is starting to flare up because I think the boy gonna leave. It's somebody who just drove here to see me. He's DL, so he already on panic mode. And then the man at the desk, that mean I gotta go talk to him in front of the trade that I never met. Like, it's just a lot going on at once, right? So my anxiety is flaring up. I come to the front desk. The trade is like right here next to me in between the two doors. I'm like, sir, my key not working. Like, I'm giving him energy because he was giving me energy. So baby, I'm just gonna give it back to you, but you been giving me all night. He was like, oh, so I just gave you these keys. Didn't you just come? here so if it's not working then it's on you you the one not doing it right i'm like i'm doing it right it's just not working like you know we have a little banter because he's giving it he's literally typing on that him and this typing like what are you typing you ain't even typing nothing so anyway he typing and typing, typing, typing so he asked me questions now to confirm my reservation you know me you saw me just check in i know you know me you know it's me give me my key like stop playing with me you just trying to play with me at this point you acting like it's a big luxury hotel with 80 million rooms. We in the London uh, hotel for Sweet Life with Zach and Cody. It's 50,000 residents. It's 50 workers. You the only one behind the desk. You the only one on shit. Who that just scared me? Little Nas, you just scared me. Woo! Sit up straight. Okay, don't. I don't care. Don't sit up straight. Be headless. He like, all right. So what's your name? And he's talking low. So I'm like, huh? And he's like, what's your name? I'm like. Nasir Void. He like, no, that's not your name. I'm like, 
How you gonna tell me what my... I'm sure I know what my name is. Like, girl, what are you talking about? He like, do you even have your ID? I'm like, no, it's upstairs. I just got locked out. I was coming down real quick. He like, you need to always keep your ID on you. So anyways, what's your name? I'm like, Nasir, and I give him my whole name. He like, yeah, when I ask you for your name, you give me your name. I'm like, I'm telling you my name. I didn't know that that's the name that they put on the reservation. Who's filling out their whole name for a hotel reservation for one? Like, nobody's doing that. He like, well, that's what's on your ID, so that's what you need to give to me. So I'm like, girl, okay, just give me the keys. So then he over there putting the keys in the little machine, like, because I just checked these keys, and I know they working. So me and the tray go up. We're not talking because I guess he mad at me from the, it's just been like a whole thing. Right, he feel like I'm playing with him at this point. So I guess he DL, and he might be a little mad at me. So we walking, it's a little long walk. I'm, I turn back, I'm like, we almost there. <laughs> Cause I don't know if he thought we was just walking endlessly or what. Like we almost there boy, like calm down. Me and him go in the room. I'm like, my favorite line. We are like, hug. <laughs> so I asked for a hug and he gave me my hug. It's really no words out of him. Like, and usually me and the trade be going, like convert, I don't really deal with like quiet DL like Trey like this. I don't like Trey like this. So anyways, we get to doing our thing, but I'm not really feeling, <laughs> Now, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's just him. I don't know if it's both. So I'm faking. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm a faker. I'm going to fake it till I make it. So I'm making a lot of noises, you know, faking it. I feel something warm come over my back, right? It's a flashlight. <laughs> and this is the reason why I'm telling y'all this story. And I know he has a, a Twitter. At any moment, Things could just go wrong, right? This isn't the first time I felt a flash, right? There was another time. Well, actually, <laughs> he actually set the camera up fully. Like, I was trying to hold it, and he was like, no, you need to set it up right here. Because I'm not trying to mess up what's going on. So all I could really do was just say, oh, okay. Well, just go ahead, sister. Um, and I just had to do my best, you know what I mean? Like, put on my best act. I'm not about to stop it and say, no, we can't do that. And make them mad and make them, then I'll end up on the news. Local f found <laughs> in the bottom of a dumpster. You know, I don't want that to be my headline. So I don't really want to do anything to like, make these trades mad, you know what I mean? And there was actually another scenario where I was, you know, eating my dinner and <laughs> he literally, I mean, he had the phone like this. <laughs> Now maybe he was scrolling on TikTok or something, I don't know. <laughs> there was no flash, maybe he was on TikTok or something, but just in case, I start working. But I'm just gonna get, like, if you're not in this scenario yet, don't ever get in this scenario because I live in fear. <laughs> so at this point, he stops. Now, I've watched a lot of um, videos, right? And in the videos, the girl will sometimes reach back and be like, no, put it back. <laughs> I'll take it out, it hurt. <laughs> don't put it back. So, you know, I'm just reciting what I see on the video. I'm like, what you doing? You know, I reach it. He like, mm -mm. I'm like, Whoa. what's going on? Like, the abrupt stop? I thought we was getting, like, we was having some motion here. And he goes in the bathroom and said, you got a towel. I'm like, it should be in the bathroom. But what's going on? I take a towel, you know, just clean up the areas to see if maybe there's something there. <gasps> Y'all. There was Hershey Kisses. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, the reaction is killing me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I booked a room. He drove. I'm out of town. Fucking with my rounds. Literally, it's brown. <gasps> No. All I could do was sit there in silence because it was awkward and there was no words. I was sitting there like a mo like a mole rat, literally feeling exposed, nothing to cover up my myself. And he just said, "I'll text you later." And the next thing I knew, the door was slamming. I said, oh, "No." I'm like actually in my frame of mind, like, "Well, actually, I don't care, and I'll do it again." <laughs> like, okay, I get it. <laughs> it was a scary sight. Like, if you was a grown man, you could have just like cleaned, like you knew what you was doing. Like, you digging in a pot, you gonna find gold. You know what I mean? Like, you knew you was in a, in a dookie shooter. You know what was happening. Like, what you gagging about? <laughs> Y'all, I'm falling out over here. <laughs> what? 
I see her. But yeah, I think all the stuff that was happening was just making my stomach unlock some deep waters, literally. The water from my chest might have came out because the way I was feeling anxious, it was just so much going on. My anxiety was filling up. I had to run up and down the stairs a couple of times. You know what I mean? It was a lot going on and I thought I was ready and just it just didn't happen that way. Now, usually this don't happen when I'm in my own, my own environment. I can control things. You know, I'm not having to ask the Dr. Edman at the uh, window, like, can you let me in? Like, you know, I usually have things under my control. I start picking up my stuff with attitude like, well, that's what you get. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> check my phone to go text him on snap and I'm blocked but you ain't gonna block me with a video though like it's weird like you done took a video like you really gonna block me after this so that's why I got an attitude like you just turn that flash on and then you gonna block me after something happened like I don't know I, that was a little weird to me like I didn't write him on one of the apps right cuz I you texted me on the app but he probably wasn't thinking to block me you're not gonna get the last word. So maybe I'll let him have it through that text. I said, you're weird. Do -do 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 -do. You're weird. You know, I'm letting him know like you're weird. And he blocked me on there. It's cool, I got my last word. It's fine. I, as I'm leaving out, I ordered some food because I ain't ate all day. I go downstairs and the DoorDash person might have left my order somewhere. Like I'm at a hotel. I don't know where they leave my food. So I asked Dr. Eggman, I'm like, is my food here? He ignored me, typing on the computer. Like, what are you typing? And you still giving it. Like, ugh, so I'm like, girl, anyway. So I found my food, I get it, and then I go outside and I call Josiah to update him on like, what happened, because he wanted me to keep him in, you know, I'm out of state, I'm doing some crazy stuff. Let me let Josiah know what's going on, so I'm updating him, I'm updating him. Here come the man, come out the, uh, come out the, uh, the side door. You know this is a security door. I know, I'm not using it, I'm on the phone. Like, shut up. He just still in my face. You know what I mean? And then right after that, it's a car crash right next to me. I'm driving in an Uber. Two cars just banging into each other. Boom! Right next to me. Literally right next to my lane. It was just it was a thing after thing after thing after thing. I don't know. You know how much stuff you go through to get ready for stuff like this? And it's not, like, you're not trying to have it. Like, this is embarrassing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to just have an accident. Like, oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I'm poop. Like, you ain't like playing in the pool. Like, oh, when he come over, oh, I'ma get him. I'm poop. Like, and then I'm out of town. Like, I'm really, like, I could have, I have so many other things I could have did. And I wasted my money. Like, I'm irked. It's a lot of stuff I'm irked about. So, anyways, I'm about to go. I love y'all. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to end videos no more. Y'all know that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Oh my God, it's too much happening. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this green screen is always falling on me.